traveling friends, the temptations of Jesus were tough. He was at a low point. He was in crisis. Satan pressed in upon him in these hours or days of weeks of weakness. And in one moment, Satan took Jesus up to a high point on the mountains. And we read that he showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world in all their splendor. And he says to Jesus, all these things belong to me and I am willing to give them to you on, on one condition, that you will bow down and worship me. Now, hear that as a direct challenge, not only to Jesus, but to you and to me. For what will we give ourselves? What shall it profit a man, said Jesus, if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? If Jesus had done a deal with Satan at that point, Jesus would have forfeited his soul. But Jesus had asked the question, what shall it profit a man if he gains everything, the world in all its glory and splendor? And in so doing, he forfeits everything of any real worth and value. He forfeits his soul. So many of you listening to this may be ambitious, you may have dreams. What will you give and sacrifice for the sake of the realization of those dreams? Is it conceivable that you might even draw aside from your faith? Is it conceivable that you might even do compromises? Because such is this obsession to gain and to acquire and to become wealthy or famous or whatever, that nothing ever is sacred. All this I will give you if you will worship me, if you will sacrifice your family life. You can have it all. What is important to you and to me? What is important at the end of the day? Life is very short. And when we come to the end of our days, we want to be able to look back and know that our life has been meaningful, that we have walked a sound and godly path, a Christ-honoring path, and that one day when we go to be with the Lord, we will hear from the mouth of Jesus himself, well done, good and faithful servant. So hear this word from Jesus, friend. Worship the Lord your God and Him alone. It's a word worth hearing both for this life and the next. God bless you.